Hi, and today I'm going to tell you about the Umayyad Empire that was one of the most powerful Islamic empires. It expanded rapidly to become one of the largest Islamic empires. When did they rule? They ruled from year 41 to year 131 after Hijra. So they ruled for around 90 years. What lands did they rule? At its peak, the Umayyad Empire had a population of around 62 million, which was 30% of the world's population. They controlled the Middle East, parts of India, Spain, Algeria, and North Africa. Their borders spread to nearly 6,000 miles. Who was the founder of the Umayyad Empire? Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan established this state after Hassan ibn Ali gave up his position to him to avoid conflict amongst the Muslims. Therefore, Muawiyah became the leader legally and according to the rules. He had been governor of Damascus under the leadership of Abu Bakr and Omar, so when he became the leader, he moved the capital to Damascus. He was known to be one of the greatest leaders of all Umayyad leaders. He has a lot of experience in administration and politics. He was just and liked by everyone. He loved fighting for Allah. He was a scholar and related many hadiths, some of which in Bukhari and Muslim. The contributions of the Umayyads. The Umayyads made several important contributions to the Islamic empire. They expanded the empire through dedicating a large part of the income on military, giving salaries to soldiers and their families. They established towns on all of the fighting fronts and encouraged people to move there. Supplied them with necessary stockpile of equipment for the conquests. Built many fortresses, built a navy and various ports. They preserved Islamic knowledge for generations to come. They established many institutions teaching Islam, making sure it was not destroyed or changed when spread to far off lands. They unified the large empire, they created common coinage, they spoke different languages in all of the countries they ruled, and Arabic became the official language. All of the local languages were replaced by Arabic. They standardised weight measures, they brought back the revival of sciences and literature. They advanced in industry and manufacture. They built great buildings such as the Umayyad Mosque and the Dome of the Rock. The strongest leaders, Al-Walid bin Abdul Malik. He built many, many mosques, road systems, he dug wells, and he made the biggest conquests of his time. Sulaiman bin Abdul Malik was the next great ruler. He had a lot of taqwa, which means he was God-fearing. He carried on the good work of his brother Al-Walid. In Morocco, he sent Musa bin Nusayr and Tariq bin Zidad to conquer Spain and Dalus and sent Maslama, his brother, to take lands from the Byzantine. People enjoyed a great era of conquest, development and peace. The next great ruler was Omar bin Abdul Aziz. He was a great ruler of the Umayyad Empire. He was known to be pious and just. We will cover him in another video in more detail. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.